Hey guys, Kevin Tates here. You know, most automotive manufacturers recommend that you flush your coolant system on regular intervals just to keep your engine running like it should. So we're going to show you how to flush and fill your antifreeze using these Prestone products that you can pick up at your local AutoZone store. This is a relatively simple job and something you can do in about an hour. Now your owner's manual will tell you the coolant capacity for your vehicle. Don't have an owner's manual? No worries. Your local AutoZone has all the information for coolant capacities on most vehicles. And always use the manufacturer's recommendation for both coolant capacity and the type of coolant, as well as the service intervals. Antifreeze is poisonous, so always handle with care. Don't pour it down the drain or out into the street. And when done, you can use your old jugs to bring your old coolant to the local recycling center. Now, tap water can contain minerals and additives that can cause your internal cooling components to rust or corrode over time. Distilled water has no minerals, so it's the best way to ensure that you've got the cleanest possible fluids running through the internal cooling systems of your vehicle. Distilled water is easy to get at your local grocery store and it's inexpensive, so it's definitely something that we recommend. Now, when you're flushing your system, tap water is perfectly fine, as long as you follow it with a final rinse with distilled water prior to adding your new coolant. Now, you've got a choice when you're buying antifreeze. You can either go with a 50-50 premix or 100% antifreeze. And the choice is yours, either one is fine, but we recommend buying the 100% antifreeze and mixing it with distilled water. That way, if you live in a part of the country with an extreme range of temperature, either hot or cold, you can custom blend your antifreeze mix based on the demands of your environment. First, you want to make sure the car has been sitting for a while and it's not too hot to touch. We're good. And now is a great time to inspect radiator hoses and clamps and make sure nothing's dry rotted or cracked. If you find things that need to be replaced, you can go and pick them up at your local AutoZone. Now you need to locate the pressure cap on the system. It's typically right here on the radiator tank. What you want to do is open that cap, which lets air into the system and helps push the antifreeze out the bottom when you open up the drain port. Now obviously we've got a car jacked up, but it's just to give you a better look at what we're doing. Make sure that you have safety glasses and some gloves on hand to do this job. Safety glasses keeps the dirt from falling in your eyes when you're under the car, and gloves, well, they just keep your hands clean because antifreeze is nasty. Most vehicles will have a drain plug or a plug located at the bottom corner of the radiator. You'll need to look under and behind the front bumper to find yours. You might need a socket or a large flathead screwdriver to remove the plug, or in some cases, you don't. Now, you've got to have something to catch the old fluid from the bottom of the radiator. And I recommend a bucket like this because it's open in the top and it's got a spout on it so you can easily pour the old antifreeze back into the buckets. We got ours at AutoZone. With everything in place, open the drain plug slowly to drain the old fluid. Remember, there could be at least two gallons of antifreeze behind here waiting to get out, so just be careful. And check your local laws and regulations when you're disposing of your old fluid. Okay, with the drain plug snugged back into the radiator, now we can start the flushing process with our Prestone Flush Plus Cleaner mixed with distilled water. Some cars require special fill procedures, so you might want to check your service manual for any special fill procedures on your vehicle. We've started our car, we're letting it run for a few minutes with the heater turned wide open. That way the flush plus cleaner has a chance to go through all the coolant passages and scrub out all the gunk and deposits from the cooling system. Keep in mind, do this in a well ventilated area with the garage door open or if you're doing it with the door closed like we are, route the exhaust outside the building. We let the car run until it got good and warm and had a chance to run everything through the cooling system. Then we shut it off and let it cool down for about 15 minutes. Now, we're going to repeat the flushing process. You may notice that the water is still dirty. If so, you can repeat the flushing process with tap water until what comes out runs clear. 
we've got the distilled water drained out and our drain plug back in. Now it's time to install the new coolant. We're going to use the 100% concentrate and distilled water and make our own blend of 50-50. There's an easy way to do this. You don't have to play Mr. Wizard. Just take one of your old distilled water jugs, pour it halfway up with the Prestone 100% antifreeze. And by the way, pour from the side so you get the right water displacement. You don't get any spillage or it galoshing out of the top and pour up to a, the halfway point on your empty jug. All right, now just fill it the rest of the way up with distilled water. And that gives you a consistent 50-50 mix. All right, now we can start the car and it'll pull the rest of that down in there. So our car shut off, we let it sit for about 15 minutes and now we're gonna check levels. Radiator's good. So now I'm gonna fill the coolant overflow jug up to the recommended fill level. We hope this video has shown you how easy it is to do a flush and fill in your system and it'll make your car live longer. I'm Kevin Tates, see you in the zone.